becoming increasingly easy for companies to actually set up in the northeast and to market their ability on a worldwide international basis, giving us access to markets in the Far East, US, Europe. Zebra Communications, an internet company formed in 95, started with four people, now 12 people. What we do is design websites from start to finish. Mere Mortals are a new technology company, essentially. We supply animation and programming for games and television. And moving along, we also supply new technology and, and programming for uh, the web and interactive, as well as mobile application. Our sales isn't particularly wide, because we supply specialist application to people like Zebra, who create web and the more general internet technologies. Mimortals and Zebra Communications are basically clustering together and what this means is we're working on projects either they will find projects from the film industry or we will find projects from the web industry and both skills will come together but the two companies working completely separately. We use a solution called FTP this means File Transfer Protocol um, in essence, what this means is we can put some information into that filing cabinet where a client can then download them and look at them on his machine and he will use FTP. By giving out the appropriate site and password, we can all get to the same piece of information and contribute um, to its uh, creation and then put it back up there for whoever has to be, happens to be working on the, the ultimate file to give back to the customer. This site is called Textbooks. Um, it's aimed at students selling their books over the internet. It's a total free service. At the end of their courses, they'll have 20, 30 books. Either they put them in their shelves or they sell them. What we've done for Textbooks is created a small flash game, which is an animation of a textbook worm. They then wanted it animating, so they put up the initial uh, drawings onto the FTP site, we can download them, look at their drawings, do some animations, put the animations back up, they can download them, we can both sit there and discuss them in front of ourselves, in front of our office, on the telephone, without actually having to be face to face. This game, now is completed, is then supplied to the client. And the client will use this in what they call viral marketing. And how viral marketing works is he will have five friends and he will send that email to the, his five friends. They will open it up and they'll laugh at it, think it's really funny, and then they will send it on to their friends. You've sent it out to hundreds of thousands of people by the end of the day, and all it's doing is promoting textbooks. The online game costs £3,000, but in relationship to the marketing, that's a very small amount. The Angel of the North was an interesting project, as it originated in London um, from Sky in Channel 4, came by our initial, who were the production company we were working for, and by the director then, um, up in the northeast, because of course it was originally shot up in Newcastle. What this meant from our point of view is that the creative director was from London, but we actually did the animation in Newcastle, but the model itself was created in Harrogate. Um, the, the best thing about that, of course, is that we, we have a virtual office, another FTP site, where the model was created in Harrogate and actually dropped onto the FTP site, where I could pick it up and I could animate it in Newcastle, show it to the director. We could then do some test animations and we can email those down um, down to London so that the production company can actually see them, see the stills and actually see moving images of the angel flying up and around Newcastle. Um, our investments have been in the region of thirty to £40,000 in this last financial year, but that's reaped benefit in as much as we've actually doubled our turnover in the last quarter compared to this time last year. Um, and also we have very good projections for our next quarter. The accountant's happy. Read everything you can before you buy a new product. Always buy the best you can afford. A bit like buying shoes, always buy the best shoes you can afford, and always buy the best IT you can afford. Um, don't think that buying a computer now, it will last you five years. Optimise your hardware and software. Look how quickly you can actually make it pay, and look how quickly you can write it off and off, 
and off your balance sheet. Because new technology changes, it becomes cheaper consistently and the prices are coming down all the time. The North East was traditionally known for heavy industry, but this is changing, it's changing rapidly. Newcastle is becoming a dot-com city. There are lots of IT industry, there are lots of media companies, and we are now able to actually communicate and to compete without having to be in London. It works for us and we're in the North East.